Welcome to Sunday School for ages 9 to 11 for April 18th, 2021. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's Bible basis is found in Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 11 through 20. A plan for restoration. Nicholas frowned as he came into Sunday School. Natasha gave him a curious grin. Hey, What's the big idea? Do I look that bad? Nah, I just remember when we had lots of kids here every Sunday. If we're lucky, maybe Erin or Libby will show up. But that's about it, he said sullenly. Mr. Anderson overheard their conversation and stepped closer. You know, kids, I've been thinking the same thing. I'm glad you're concerned. I bet God is trying to speak to all of us. Today we are talking about Nehemiah's plan and inspiration to rebuild the wall. What if we did something like that to rebuild this class? With Mr. Anderson's help, Nicholas and Natasha read about Nehemiah's faith, leading him to prayer and action. Nicholas asked, if they could do the same. Nicholas began praying, Dear God, make our class be a place where our friends want to come. Natasha added, Show us how to fix up our room and make it feel inviting. Mr. Anderson closed, Help us to show your love as we serve. Mr. Anderson grabbed paper and pen. He took notes as they brainstormed ideas. They made a list of friends to invite. They thought of adults who might help. They decided on work days to spruce up the room. Nicholas and Natasha promised to bring someone to class next week and call all their old members. They wrote an announcement for the church newsletter requesting future service projects. Nicholas suddenly stood in his best su superhero pose. Hey, just call me Nicholas Nehemiah, leader of men, preserver of the wall, restorer of the class. Natasha giggled and just rolled her eyes. Would you enjoy being in class with Nicholas? Why or why not? Brainstorm how many ways Nicholas and Natasha might make a difference. The Bible says to let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Nehemiah was appointed by King Artaxerxes to govern the people returning to Jerusalem. One night after Nehemiah arrived, he investigated the wall around the city. It was in disrepair. Repairing the wall was important for the people's protection. Pulling God's people together on a project was important for their unity. Nehemiah chapter 2, beginning at verse 11. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon? And I went out by night, by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. 
Then went I up in the night by the brook and viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went or what I did. Neither had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that would be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Sambalat the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite and Geshem the Arabian heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. The memory verse for today's lesson is Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 18. And that reads, Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. This week, you are on a secret mission, just like Nehemiah. Check out the wall. Your mission is to survey your home, church, and community. What is in disrepair? What needs tidying up? How can you restore something in disrepair? Look for physical needs, but also consider needs that are not visible. Nicholas and Natasha had a need that was not all about a broken down building. Be ready to share your findings with your family. Ask God to show you what action you need to take. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You can just say, Lord, here I am. You can use me for your service. James chapter 2 verse 26 says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. The Bible says faith. Now faith in Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Matthew chapter 21 Verse 22 says, And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 through 11 says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. 
Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Psalm 124 says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Psalm 37 Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Psalm 121 I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 11 Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Psalm chapter 9, verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Psalm 133 verse 1 says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14-16 through 16. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29 but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart, 
and with all thy soul. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. Seek the Lord at his strength. Seek his face continually. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolation of many generations. John chapter 4, verses 23 to 24. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Joel chapter 2, verses 25 and 26. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pommel worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that have dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Isaiah 61, verse 7, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11 through 13. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. In the name of Jesus, help us to build, God, in the name of Jesus, build the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, help us to be those trees of righteousness, God, the planting of the Lord. And we thank you for your thoughts, Father, that they are good, that th thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. We thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we turn to you with prayer, fasting, and everything, God. We turn from our wicked ways, Father, and seek your face, praying that you will continue to heal our land. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, God, for the restoration that's coming, and thank you for the revival. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.